Hey everybody, this is Eric for the Little White House, and I am excited because I'm very excitable. No, I'm excited because I came down here and found an emergency that I had to take care of. My tomato plant, somehow I missed out on the fact that it was uh, out of water and out of nutrient solution. And so I came down here to this. I added some water and nutrient solution and I'm just hoping that I averted a mess, but if I didn't, I will have to clean it up and we will move on. Now, I promised a video about food that you can <clears throat> use for vet, uh, fatty liver disease. And I'm going to divide that into a couple of different things. First of all, I'm going to divide it into a general uh, categories of what you want to do. There's four general categories, and then there's going to be three other ca uh, three other categories that of of food. One that I'm not going to use. Number two, the food that I can't uh, I'm going to use, but I can't grow to my knowledge around these parts. And number three, the foods that I will grow. So, uh, the four general categories. You need lots of fruits and vegetables, which is great, because I'm a gardener and I like growing foods and <laughs> fruits and vegetables. Um, high fiber foods like legumes and also whole grains. Well, I can do the legumes, the whole grains. I really don't have the kind of space that it takes to grow enough to last me from one year to the next. So I will probably be purchasing those. Uh, number three, very little salt, sugar, trans fats, saturated fats, or refined carbohydrates. Well, if I stick to the fruits and vegetables and all of that, I shouldn't have the refined carbohydrates or the saturated fat and the trans fat and I will have to bite the bullet on the salt and the sugar. That is some of my favorite tongue tasting stuff. And absolutely no alcohol, that's the fourth general thing. Okay, on to the category of what I am not going to use but is included in this good for your liver, uh, good for fatty liver uh, diet. Number one is coffee. I don't drink coffee. Number two is m milk and dairy products and I spent the last three and a half months getting rid of those out of my diet because of high cholesterol and I have gotten my cholesterol down uh, my bad cholesterol is down to an acceptable level I still need to raise my good cholesterol and the third thing is fatty fish I do not eat fish um, but that is an acceptable part of this diet. Number two, the things that I can grow, or no, that I cannot grow, but I will incorporate in the diet, uh, cranberries, oatmeal, uh, walnuts, avocados, olive oil or olives, and green tea. Those things, to my knowledge, I cannot grow them uh, around here. So, if I find out that I can grow those, then I will. Whatever ones I can. And lastly, 
uh, the things that I can grow. Greens like spinach, Brussels sprouts, kale, and other cruciferous vegetables. Uh, tofu, which is soybeans, and other legumes, which I will be planting. And sunflower seeds, which I will plant, but I, there again, you know, I probably... Uh, I may have to supplement by buying some because I don't know that I can grow enough to keep me in sunflower seeds for more than a little bit. And lastly, garlic. Yes, I have grown plenty of garlic around here. I used to think that, you know, I was, instead of the little white house, I was like the all garlic channel for a little while there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share if it has helped you in any way, shape, or form. And if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, click on the notification bell to receive more videos from our channel. We are also on Instagram. Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Uh, last but not least, we do have a TubeBuddy uh, free link to a TubeBuddy tool that helps you with your video. Um, it, it helps you with your YouTube channel. Whew. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day. Thanks for watching. God bless and see you next time.